So the last thing I did was Kandinsky. So I'm going to turn over to a brand new double page. And then I'm going to take my sheet that your teacher has given you or that you picked up at the beginning of the lesson and I'm going to stick it in on this side. So I'm going to use some glue. Okay, so now I'm going to work on this side of the page. So I always like to work on the right hand side because you've not done any, I mean, I have in this one because it's my year eight book as well, but um, you've not done any drawing underneath that or stuck anything in underneath that. So you shouldn't get any weird lines. So then I'm gonna take this sheet and put it underneath like that. And I can just see very faintly the line of the guitar. So then I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm going to try and do it nice and lightly. Um, and I'm going to trace around the guitar. So now I've got the shape of my guitar. I'm just gonna rub out that little mistake I made there. Okay, and I've pressed on nice and lightly. I've not pressed on too hard with that. I can start thinking about getting the different pop art ideas into this guitar. Okay, so I'm gonna look at all of the images that we've got on class charts. And I'm going to think about sectioning up my guitar and I'm actually going to use some of the ideas as well from this Kandinsky composition. So this idea of having shapes running into each other and shapes kind of cutting up each other, I'm going to have a little bit of that going on. So I'm going to think about all of those things I thought about when I was doing that drawing. So when I was drawing this out, I was really thinking about my composition, thinking about having a mix of large shapes and small shapes and having them intersect. I also wanted to have the same visual language across my guitar. So I used circles in different ways and I used very straight lines in different ways and kind of in different sizes across my whole drawing. So I did this circular pattern in this section here. Um, and then I replicated that idea of using circles a little bit later on when I do a sunshine at the top. And that also allows me to replicate the rays that I do coming out of the explosion. So I've got two sets of rays and I've got two bits of circles. I also want to point out how much I hesitate here. This is sped up five times and I still keep stopping and looking at what I'm doing. And that's because I want the composition to be right and I want to kind of get it to work and stand out. So... The other thing that I do is I bring this, the idea of the circles into a pizza. So I put some pepperoni pizza on there, but just that having the repeated circles across the um, drawing, I think really works. You'll see it a little bit better when I outline it in pen. So I, I might put a picture up to show you. This is the guitar after I have outlined so you can see all of the different shapes I'm talking about. So I am happy with what I've got so far. I've got a couple of bits that haven't got anything in them and I've got some nice negative space trying to think about how I've done composition. So I've got kind of this starburst in the middle which hasn't got anything in it yet because I'm not quite sure what I want to put in it. So I want to have a think about it, but I like the fact that there's something big and then there's kind of little things around it and there's rays coming out of it so it's almost like an explosion a bit like what you would see in Liechtenstein's work and then I've tried to take on 
little bits and pieces from other people's work. So again, this idea of using circles like Liechtenstein's Bende dots. I've looked at using um, pizza because it fit in that shape. So I've done these pizza slices um, to try and bring in that idea of the food stuff. Um, I've got these clouds because one of my favourite, I've done mostly done it inspired by Liechtenstein to be honest, but one of my favourite Liechtenstein paintings is a landscape, a big sun and some clouds. So my final thing is to kind of relook at it, make sure that I'm happy with all of my shapes and think about what I want to put in there. Um, and then I can start thinking about outlining it, but I'm going to I'm just going to review it and review everything that I want on there before I do any of that.